Well, hello, hello, people. Today I'm going to show you how I sculpt my face going from this to this. To start, we're going to use the Laneige Makeup Glowy Serum. I really, really like this serum. It helps give you like a really nice glow, hence the name. But I feel like it can work for oily skin and dry skin because it doesn't make you overly dewy, which is really, really nice. I just like to use my hands and then make sure that I get it everywhere, including my neck. Next, I use this T-Bar Facial Massager. This one's by Complex Culture to help sculpt the face even more. I'm not an expert at sculpting the face with this, uh, but I feel like once I use this in an upward motion like this, it really does help. I've done it before and I'll do one side and it'll, you can see the difference from one side to the other. It just helps de-puff everything and it helps like the serum absorb into your skin a lot more. So that's nice as well. Really quickly, this is going to be the makeup inspo and this is where I took everything from. You can see the lighter areas are really at the center of the face towards the chin and right in the middle. We're going to start with color correction first. I use this concealer by YSL. It's a little bit peachy. I feel like it doesn't pick up on camera as peachy, but in real life it has just a little bit of peachiness which helps cancel out any dark area so I do that underneath my eyes and right around the mouth area and I also like to use just my fingers just get a really light layer of it in you don't need this to be too thick just a little bit just so you can cancel out some darkness then I use this Pat McGrath concealer this is a lot brighter and I use this to really highlight so if you want to bring any features forward I use this right in the center so you can see I'm doing it right in the inner corner of the eye and then on the outer corner to really pull that area out and make it uh, go a little bit higher. Underneath the cheekbones, this will be really nice when you contour to give you more definition. And right in the center because we want to bring these parts of the features out for when we contour the nose. And then this, a lot of it went on the forehead, which I usually don't do, but that's what I was doing for this look. And towards the chin as well. And then right around the mouth if you have any darkness there. If you take some setting spray and spray it onto your brush or sponge before using it, it will help set your concealer or your foundation as you're blending out. What I like to do first is use a brush. This is really what I call a rough blend. You don't have to do this. This is kind of an extra step, but what I like to do is I let the concealer stay for a few minutes, like three to four minutes, and then after I let the concealer stay, I'll use a brush first, and I'll do a rough blend just to just make sure that everything is spread out and that I hit all areas. Then I like to take a beauty blender or any beauty sponge that you have and do the same thing. I apply setting spray to it. And after I apply the setting spray to it, I make sure that there's not too much water or anything there. So squeeze it and pat it against your hand because if that's too much, it'll start to like mess up your foundation or concealer. After that, just really simply, you're just going to pounce all over with the beauty blender. I like to do this as a secondary step to really get the blend. Most people will only use one. You don't have to use two. Again, that's me being extra. I just really like the finish. Now we're going to move on to foundation. You just need one pump and we're going to focus this more on the outside area of the face. So not in the center as much because that's where we did all the highlighting, but more towards the outside. So you'll notice that the foundation color is darker than the concealer shade and that's because we want to make sure the face has dimension, right? So this is really where I think it's like the first step of contouring. You're making dimensions with your face. You've got the light in the center and then you've got the... Uh, more skin toned or the darker shade on the outside so you're helping create that illusion of a more sculpted face so that is the first step after you get that blended in I actually went back in with some cream concealer because I really wanted the under eye area and the central like the nose and the forehead to be super super bright and so I did that with cream products I like using my fingers to blend everything in and then powder I don't like powder, but for this look, I needed it. So first, I went in more carefully to the areas I want to set. So under the eye is always an area that I like to set because I'll get creasing if I don't. And then towards the T-zone. Then the rest of it really wasn't that much. Like I, ned I didn't go back in and dip into foundation. I just used whatever was left on the sponge. Then spray your face because you're probably a little too dry, um, at least for me. And I like to use a fan. You don't have to use a fan. I'm extra and I have a fan, so I use it. But uh, whatever, you don't need it. Just make sure that you do go over with the beauty sponge because you don't want any like water droplets to be on your face. Now here's the big thing, contouring. There's a lot of it. I 
went in this was the lightest shade from kevin aquan volume contour volume book number three and i really went into the contour now if you notice i actually did the contour a lot lower than i usually do i don't go that low on my cheekbones but I did for this look specifically, and it looks really intense right now. Don't worry, I went back in with the Beauty Blender, and then later I'll go in with some powder to fix it up. On top of the contour, I went in with a lot of bronzer. So you'll see that the bronzer, I'm placing it just slightly above where the contour is to get a little bit more warmth back into the skin. Remember, contour, cool. It has to be cool toned bronzer warm it has to be warm tone you can see when i turn my face you have a darker side and a lighter side then i used uh this like little fan brush looking thing and i went into contour my nose i started with my eyebrow shape and then went down and then sculpted right at the tip of the nose you don't have to do this again you don't have to do any of this but this is just how i like to sculpt and bring attention so the lighter uh, concealer shade brought all the attention forward and then the contour shade helps to like build in the lines and build in definition that's also why i like it to be gray toned next i took this blush from mented this was a berry blush it was really nice and warm. I thought it complemented the bronzer really, really well. And this is right, right about underneath the cheekbones. So usually I do it much higher, but for this look, I did it so that it like sculpted around the cheekbones, kind of like a C shape. Um, and then I took it everywhere so it was cohesive. Then here to sculpt under the cheekbones, this is like semi baking, but I just took some powder and went underneath the cheekbones to get nice definition and also cleaned it up so it wasn't so, so harsh, especially in real life. Lip sculpting, that is up to you. It honestly takes a lot of time. It did for me to learn how to like actually properly sculpt my lips, but I actually contoured a little bit before this and then I took a lip pencil and went over and lined it. So when you contour above the lip pencil, it gives you a shadow so it looks like your natural lip line is there. So when you draw it bigger, it doesn't look that bad. Then I use this beautiful nude shade. This is 90s from Vive. I love it. And after that, I went in with some more spray. I just like to make sure I don't look too dry. So I spray my face a lot. And I also like to do it before doing highlighter, which is going to be this next part. I used a goldenish shade to complement all the bronziness that was going on on the face. Just on the high points and a pretty light hand compared to how I used to do it. And then that's it. That was done. If you have any questions, drop them down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.